In the circuit of the figure below, the current I1 is 3.4 amps, and the value of E and R are unknown. What are the currents I2 and I3? So here we just have to use Kirchhoff's rule, loop rule, and we'll start with uh, point A, and we'll, we'll take the circuitous route um, all the way back to A. And, and so on the first, we're going with the current, so we have 24, positive 24, or we'll just call it V1. And then we're going to go uh, across the resistor with the current, so we'll lose I1, R1, and so we'll just call this V1, call this R1 over here, and call this, uh, this resistor right here R2. And so, and then we, we're going across the a resistor, a, see the arrow's pointing this way, so we're going to gain I2, R2. And so when we solve for I2, so um, I2 is going to be equal to V1 minus I1, R1 over negative R2. So we had to divide by a negative, uh, to, because whenever you subtract this over, it becomes negative. So when you plug the numbers in, you get 24 minus now 3.4 times uh, times 6 is 20.4, and then you divide that by 3, and then or actually negative 3. So the number you should get is a negative 1.2 amps. So I2 is negative 1.2, and all that negative sign tells you is really that the arrow is pointing in the wrong direction. But because the arrow is pointing in the wrong direction, we can still use Kirchhoff's uh, junction rule, and we'll just throw in our negative number instead of subtracting a positive number. So um, for to find I3, so I3, it, the arrows say we have this current and this current going into it, so we'd say is equal to I1 plus I2. So I1 plus I2, where I2 is a negative number, so we get... Uh, we get um, 3.4 plus negative 1.2 is equal to I3. And that number is positive 2.2. Hey, thanks for watching. Make sure you check out my blog. The link is down in the About section of this video. And on the blog, you'll find cool stuff like other videos for the same chapter. And you'll also find uh, little download links where you can download calculators to uh, basically just punch in your numbers and solve these exact problems. So you won't even have to watch the video if you don't want to. The last thing I want to say is if you leave comments on YouTube, of course I will get around to responding, but I'm much faster if you leave them at the bottom of my blog, right down there. Enjoy your day.